I've always wanted to help people, especially with the struggles that I've been through. At the start, I created this book to increase the visibility and usage of te reo in primary schools, kindergartens, and it's going to be five stories, one book. So I got me an illustrator, and I have translators at school, publishers, so it is all done through school, but, you know, I'm trying to do it outside of school as well just to make this book happen. The boxing is to help me with my anger. No, I'm just gonna... You feel at home when you're in boxing. You know, once you put the gloves on, once you put... You just feel like there's nothing can, like, defeat you and stuff. I want to do this book and then keep producing more books, different things, different ages and all that stuff. And hopefully it can expand to the whole of New Zealand. Hey, I'm Ray. We're here in uh, Manukau, it's a Te Hau Manukau. So basically I run a company called Game Tan and one of our biggest goals is to try to excite our current generation, Māori and Pacifica, to excite them through gaming um, and use that as a pathway to get into other career pathways. Friday nights we have something called Game Tan Game Club. We have computers set up, Playstations, Xboxes and just get them engaged in it and just raise awareness. Hey, I'm here in uh, downtown Auckland. So I'm here at the uh, In New Zealand event centre and I'm here to meet with Mark hey, Finnegan. Kia ora. Kia ora, I'm Ray. Yeah, yeah. Mark. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Come on in. Oh, thank you. Mark Figgins, I'm a General Manager of Human Resources at Air New Zealand. I also have responsibility for the talent and talent acquisition function. I guess for all of us, the world's changing rapidly, um, and we see this a lot in education and in learning in particular. Here in New Zealand, what's really important is that we reflect the New Zealand sort of society and our customer base and who we are, and that means that we've got to leverage and tap into um, the skills and talent that we can get from all all the different backgrounds that make up New Zealand. Uh, I spoke to Luciana the other day. She's coming out with a book and she wants to get into the digital space. We'll check out this video and, and see your thoughts. So Luciana, tell me about this book that you've, uh, you've come up with, that you've created. I created this book to increase the visibility and usage of Te Reo in primary schools and kindergartens. Along this journey, I get to learn as well. Like, I know it's for children, but people often ask me, like, why are you doing it if you don't even know Māori? And it's like, well, because I want to learn too. Uh, how did this all work out? Did you approach a teacher? Did you start working with a team? We had groups. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. this is a funny story now. Yeah. <laughs> so we had groups, but basically they weren't in the, the same mindset as I was. So they were, like, there because it's school. And so basically I dropped them and, you wow. know, yeah, I know, it's, it's a very big decision. I need this book to be done, so let's do it. And then I just started grabbing people outside of my group. So my illustrator, she's not from business or anything. I just was introduced to her. Um, translator, just went to the Māori unit, you know, and kind of formed my own, my own team. Is there a way or some sort of plan that you have to put your book out there through a digital sort of pathway. What encouraged me to get this book more out there as an audio's animated character, it gets it out there more. Everyone can learn in their own ways by watching, listening, reading. I own a company named Game Tan and what we do is we try to excite kids into getting into technology and definitely if there's some way where we can implement uh, your idea into gamifying it, spread that out to the world and share that and hopefully create an even bigger impact. Doing this will be cool. <laughs> Great, yeah. What an amazing lady. <laughs> you've got drive, you know, you've got initiative, you've got that kind of energy and passion, and those things are really, really important for us at Air New Zealand as they yeah. are in any corporate. The other thing that really struck me was this sort of creativity, innovation, and, and then teamwork, and, and building a team together and influencing mm. others. We're looking for people who can uh, draw from their past experiences mm. to then kind of think, how can I change that for the better moving forward?